If you're trying to get a transcript out of your video and actually do something useful with it, like turning long footage into snackable clips, here's a chill workflow I use now that saves me a ton of time and keeps everything shareable with the team. So first, if you're old school and using Premiere Pro, you'll want to open your project and go straight to the text panel. If you don't see it, just navigate to Window and then click Text to bring it up. Next, click on the timeline you want to transcribe and then simply hit the Transcribe button. Premiere will chew on the audio for a minute and then spit back a complete transcript right there for you. You can actually click right into that transcript and easily edit stuff like punctuation or even speaker labels. Once you're happy with it, you export it as a simple .txt file using the three dots menu. From there, I usually drop that text file into Google Drive, open it with Google Docs, and then share it with collaborators or maybe my instructor. That whole basic process works just fine if all you need is a static transcript. But here's the thing, getting a text file is one step, but turning that long video into dozens of platform-ready clips is where it gets really messy. Premiere is amazing for the core editing, but it is not built to automatically find those viral moments or schedule posts across all your different social platforms. You export the transcript and then you have to manually scrub through the footage, mark in and out points for every single clip, export each one, rename all the files and keep track of what goes where. It quickly becomes a full-time administrative task unless you genuinely enjoy spending hours on repetitive clicking. That is precisely why I started using Visit as the crucial middle step in my process. You upload your long video to Visit and it immediately does a few things that make my entire life way easier. First, it creates a clean, editable transcript automatically so you don't need to bounce between Premiere and a separate Google Doc. You can edit the transcript in line just like you do in Premiere, but the key difference is that Visit links those text moments directly to their timestamps and suggests clip highlights. So instead of exporting a text file and manually hunting for the best 10 to 30 second bytes, the AI picks out the moments that have the highest chance to actually perform well for you. Think about it like this. Premiere gives you raw script data, which is helpful, but then you still have to be both the editor and the social manager. Wizard gives you the script and proactively says, hey, these parts are actually already clip ready for you right now. This process saves you tons of valuable time and frees up all those mental brain cycles for more creative work. Let's walk through a quick version of my usual flow, starting with step one uploading the long-form video to Vizard. It accepts most common video formats out there, and generally that initial upload is usually pretty fast. Next, Vizard auto-transcribes everything from that audio track with great accuracy. If you ever need to tweak the transcript, maybe to fix a proper name or merge two lines, you can easily edit it right there in the application. Crucially, no separate text file export is necessary unless you specifically still want one for archival purposes. Now for the cool part, Visit intelligently highlights potential viral clips across the entire timeline automatically. It looks for punchlines, important topic shifts, or any hype moments, the kind of content that really stops people from scrolling past. You can preview each suggested clip right there, adjust the in and out points precisely, and add an initial caption if you like. You even choose the required aspect ratio, whether it's wide, vertical for stories, or square, and export instantly. If you are collaborating with others, you can export that transcript or share the Visit project link directly. Want to drop it in Google Drive and open it as a doc for a teammate? That is totally possible too. But most of the time, sharing the native Visit project or the generated clips is faster and cleaner because everything stays perfectly timestamped and labeled. For scheduling, you set how often you want content to post, pick your target platforms, and Visit can auto-schedule based on your predefined settings. You don't have to babysit a content calendar or constantly remember which clip goes to which account because the AI distributes the content over time. This ensures you're consistently posting without getting stuck in that painful daily grind. Now I know some of you are thinking, why not just use Descript or CapCut for this job, which is a totally fair question to ask. Descript is absolutely ace at text-first editing, and its overdub feature is wild, but it can get pricey fast for teams, and its autoclip suggestions aren't aimed at building a steady social pipeline. CapCut is great for quick, punchy edits and effects, especially for mobile-first creators, but it's much more of a manual editor for each individual clip. Premiere is incredibly powerful, of course, but it was never designed for automated social scheduling or automatic clip discovery from a transcript. Visit sits perfectly in this specific gap. It's not trying to replace your main creative edit suite, it's focused on automating the repetitive steps to build a sustainable social strategy. I'll also add that if you're working with a team or a teacher, the simple workflow of exporting a transcript to Google Drive is still very useful for review. I sometimes export the trimmed transcript or just a list of clip timestamps from Vizard so non-editors can easily comment on which clips they prefer. That way, a collaborator who isn't comfortable in a heavy editor can still review and leave their valuable feedback right inside Docs. That process keeps everyone on the same page without forcing every single person to learn complicated new software. Here are a couple of pragmatic tips I picked up along the way that you should definitely try. First, make sure you don't over-trim your clips. 
let the AI suggest a few variants of the same moment, short, medium, and even extended lengths. Different platforms and different posting styles require different optimal lengths for the best engagement. Next, use the transcript editor to actually add relevant keywords or hashtags right inside the text where they appear in the speech. Visit will then help you match your final clip captions to the tone and keywords already present in the spoken audio, boosting discoverability. If a clip includes an on-screen graphic or an important visual beat, adjust those in and out points so the visual context isn't chopped awkwardly. The AI is smart, but it won't always understand those specific visual cues the way a human editor naturally would. Now let's talk about pricing and trade-offs because some tools charge you per user or per minute of transcription, which definitely adds up. Visit tends to be more balanced for creators who want that all-in-one pipeline handling transcript, selection and scheduling without multiple subscriptions. If you are a solo creator on a super tight budget, that cost structure truly matters a lot. If you are a team that needs heavy granular control over every single frame, you might still prefer a traditional editor like Premiere for the final polish. And honestly, that is perfectly cool. But Vizard removes all the initial grunt work so you only pull out Premiere for that final pass if you need complex motion graphics or specific brand color grades. And here's one of the best parts. Because Vizard links the transcript directly to timestamps and clips, collaborating becomes exponentially faster. Instead of vaguely saying in Slack, hey, clip 7, trim it back at 022, you can point them to the exact transcription line or the auto-generated clip itself. They see precisely what you mean immediately without any guesswork required from your team member. So the final takeaway is this. If all you truly need is a transcript for a review and you love that Google Docs collab hack, stick with Premiere's text export or Vizard's transcript export. But the main question you should ask yourself is, do you want to stop treating your transcript as a static file and start treating it as the raw living material for a content machine? If the answer is yes, Vizard is a very nice middle ground that gets you from a simple text file all the way to scheduled social posts way faster. It truly is the difference between spending an entire day slicing up clips and spending only an hour approving and scheduling them. If you're interested, I can absolutely walk you through a sample project right now. I can show you uploading a 20-minute talk, how Vizard pulls out 15 clip suggestions, how I tweak two of them, export and schedule a week's worth of posts. This is a super practical demo with absolutely no fluff and I will lay out the exact steps so you can replicate it perfectly yourself. Just say the word and I will lay out the exact steps I follow so you can easily replicate this entire system. Anyway, whether you stick with Premiere's text panel plus the Google Docs hack or you try the full Vizard pipeline, both will get that initial transcript job done. The main question that remains is whether you want to stop treating the transcript as a static file and finally start treating it as the raw material for your content machine. If that sounds like you, Vizard is a fantastic middle ground that gets you from that initial text file status to fully scheduled social posts much, much faster.